right, y'all. Good morning. Welcome back to today. We're in a swimsuit because, you know, it's California, which means we're swimming all the time. Before we get started, if you guys haven't seen my vlogs yet, subscribe to my vlog channel down below. I have so many videos of me being here in California, so go and check those out. We have lots of fun stuff. Um, and that's all I had to say. So let's get on to this. So it's gonna be a little hard because I am at their house right now, which means they don't have all the stuff that I eat and they eat very differently, which uh, also why I'm wanting to do this swapping diet. So I normally either do avocado, eggs and toast or oatmeal. So today we're gonna do some oatmeal. We got a bowl. I kind of just fill the bottom of my bowl a bit. Around that much. Like that doesn't look like a lot, but it actually really does go a long way, so. Now, water. Oh, the water's right here. They have this very fancy water thing right here. We're just gonna microwave. I normally honestly put like a full apple in it because it's, it's more like apples with some oats rather than oats with some apples. <laughs> Oh, that's actually perfect. So, I don't use a lot of milk. I use barely any, if not no milk at all. But, so you can see, I added a lot of milk and then I made the oats. They're super runny. I don't know. I'm exactly safe. Sorry, guys. Now, we're just gonna cut up all these apples. And then, I don't use brown sugar. I actually use a tiny bit of cinnamon and sugar. I feel like I'm on a cooking show. Welcome, guys, to today's cooking show. Today, we are cooking oatmeal. Also, story time, last night, well no, it wasn't last, no, I guess it was nighttime, sort of. Yesterday, before I went to bed, I was watching some Vampire Diaries. You know, I'm on season five, I think I mentioned this, I feel like, no. Season five, and it was the last episode of the season, and let's just say I bawled my eyes out for a while. I was crying, and it wasn't just like some of the parts that make me cry where I'm like kind of tearing up, you know. I was like full on like, Strolling down my face. My face felt really cold because the tears and the the fan was on. It, was, it made, yeah. Anyways, so sad. Wow. Okay. So I didn't realize how much apples I was putting in. That's basically, yeah. Whatever. We're almost done with this apple, so we'll just put the rest in. What can I say? Your girl likes some super healthy oatmeal. You know, if oats weren't healthy enough, you gotta add like a lot of. Um, Apples in it, okay. Okay. We got ourselves some milk. And again, I, it's already really watery, so I just add a tiny bit. Yeah, really, just like barely any. I don't know why, but it tastes good. And there we go. There's our meal. One sec. Gotta make sure we put everything away. Look at how yummer, lummer, ding dong that is. So, what I usually like to eat for breakfast is something not sweet. If I do, it's a little bit of fruit and then something savory. So I'm gonna go with a cage-free, like the most best quality egg I can find. I don't eat a lot of eggs. And then I have some spinach. I like to have some sort of veggie in it. And then I have some fun stuff I put on top. Some of my toppings are gonna be some nutritional yeast. I'm also gonna make a sipping apple cider drink. And I might do a little drizzle of a good balsamic at the end. So I'm gonna do some ice to make it cold because this drink will taste gross without ice. So for this cup, I'm gonna do one tablespoon of organic raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar. I like the Bragg's brand the best. I think the other ones taste really gross. I usually just do that with some lemon water or like an apple cider drink with lemon. So what makes this not as gross is I'm gonna also put some vanilla stevia drops. For the fruit on the side, I'm gonna do some of these tiger figs. So the next thing we're gonna do is an over easy egg and we're gonna cook it in a little cast iron skillet. Right after I take the egg out, I'm gonna throw some vegetables in and cook them, This, um, especially the spinach. I'm gonna saute it really fast and we'll throw it on top of the egg with some of these fun toppings. So while I'm cooking the egg, I'm actually gonna put some tea, some hot water, so I usually like to have a ginger tea. So we'll get that going. I have the stove on my cast iron 
And I have the cutest, tiniest little cast iron skillet. And I'm just gonna cook it for a few seconds to get the other side crisped up a little bit, but we want the egg to be ready. Whoop. And with this extra oil, while the pan is hot, I'm just gonna throw some of this spinach in. gonna like this. It's pretty delicious. This is my meal. I have oatmeal and apples. This is what I eat all the time. Um, okay, I feel so bad now. Looking at Auntie Jackie's meal, I feel so okay. bad. Mine's just oatmeal. Here you go. Switch. Yeah. This looks fancy. Okay, okay before what you eat this though, okay. You need to do your shot. Okay, what is this shot? <laughs> or should I just do it and then and then you tell me? How about that? Just oh, smells good. try to not think about the texture and just down it all. <laughs> mm. <laughs> now for your next drink, you have a ginger tea here, ginger turmeric, it's a little bit sweet. This tasted like Christmas in a cup, not even kidding. <laughs> like, not in a good way. Not like Christmas <laughs> in my mouth, like my mom calls it. I suggest just and drinking it fast. Yeah, I'm just gonna, you know. It actually doesn't taste bad. Did you drink it all? Oh, I yeah. did put some, like, the natural sweetener the in it. Lemons and stuff? Well, yours is oatmeal and apples. And I normally actually put about that much apples. I used to make this a lot of apples. all the time after I had the twins. <laughs> this was, like, yeah. my morning breakfast. Is there milk in here or just water? Um, there's a tiny bit of milk. Mm. Almond milk or what? Yeah, almond milk. Hey guys, this looks delicious. I seriously oh haven't had this for like years. Oh, I've never had this. Mm. <laughs> this was seriously like it used to be my daily breakfast. Auntie Jackie has known me since I was six months old. Six months old. Mm -hmm. So she's known me basically my whole life. This is amazing. What was on mine? Um, I had, it's just apples, oatmeal, and I make the oatmeal a little bit more runny, so I don't cook it so that it's like hard. Mm. Um, I make it so that there, it, there's still water. I mean, I had just a tiny bit, like, I honestly don't need the milk, but I think it adds a little more flavor. I and like it was milk. cinnamon and sugar. Just a bit of cinnamon and sugar. Mm -hmm. That was amazing. Best breakfast ever. A complete... Um, the 10 out of 10, yeah. <laughs> this is actually really good too. <laughs> All right, y'all. What's up? We're back here for lunch. We just went shopping for a little while and uh, she got some food. And I decided to make some food from the home, obviously. So, we're going to be swapping. Would you like to say what your food is? A turkey. Bacon avocado with Munster cheese panini mm. and I have a barbecue chicken salad We have some spaghetti noodles with a homemade sauce and a very special Parmesan cheese. Ooh, what's so special about it? Um, I don't know and That's then yummy. With that we also have some cheese crisps. What? Which I also love. I've so, never had one of these really since this is my food now You have to eat it how I would eat it, which means you have to share that with my three kids because they eat all my food, so. All right, little duckies! <laughs> and when you're done, change the diapers too, okay? Uh, <laughs> no. Wait, no, this is kind of spicy, something spicy. Green chilies. Okay. Yummy. Yeah. This cheese crisp was actually not as gross as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, they're really good. It looks disgusting, but it tastes pretty good. What's in your sauce again? So it is a mix, it's a can of um, Diced tomatoes with green chilies, and then it is a half of a tomato paste. Okay. And then a mix of herbs de Provence. Well, that is our meal for lunch, and I'll see you guys for dinner. Clay and I talked a little bit about making your own bone broth with chicken bones. She'd never made it before, and I was surprised. So I thought, well, let's make her make it. I just cut up a whole onion in quarters. And you have to use some apple cider vinegar, just like a tablespoon. Um, our tap water is not the best, so I would use this to fill up the pot. 
So I'm gonna fill it a little bit above. You've got to see this. It just looks nasty. We're not gonna eat these things. We're just gonna eat the liquid that it makes when we cook it for a couple hours. I need to fill it up a little bit more with water. And I'm gonna put some carrots and celery in there too. Just carrots and celery and just throw them in. That's it. Okay, here we are. <laughs> Carrot, onion, celery, and all these chicken bones. Ugh. I'm just using Instapot. Put it on the stove. It would take several hours. Um, or crock pot, it would take several hours. But we're lazy, so we're doing an instant pot. So it'll just be done in like 90 minutes. I just finished my shower. And uh, I may have bribed Uncle Chris to make my dinner for me. It was actually very hard. It was a very, very intricate meal. Very complicated. Super healthy too, you know. I want to I want to give Auntie Jackie something good because she's been giving me such good food. Okay, look at these yummy lasagnas. They are from Trader Joe's, so they're healthy. Maybe. I hope she likes them. I love lasagna. Shay actually made us some a while ago and I was like eating all of it. It's so yummy, so I figured, why not make this? I mean, why not buy this? Okay, but can we mention Johnny's gourmet meal over here? <laughs> oh my God. Got a bunch of different gourmet meals going on over here. But Johnny's beats all of us with the chips around it. Very fancy. Yes. Look at how delicious this looks. Ooh. Um, okay, so what is this? Lentil soup. Mm. And with homemade chicken broth. And Auntie Jackie um, <laughs> educated me on what bone broth is made from. It's made from real bones. <laughs> what did you think it was? I don't know. I just didn't really think about it. But you want all I the got... nutrition from inside the bones, and so that's what you're <laughs> boiling the bones to get all of that out into your broth. Yeah, I just. Won't think about it when I eat it. I bet it tastes good though. I bet it's great. And then we got some yummy salad, which I'm guessing this is, what kind of salad is this? Caesar. Mmm, my favorite. Caesar salad. Okay, and then. Well, what do I have here? Well, we have a lasagna that I actually made myself. You did? No. And then we got some baguette with some olive oil and uh, vinegar. No. Yeah, balsamic vinegar. Balsamic like. vinegar. That does taste good. <laughs> this is really good too. Okay, I forgot to bring this out, but she has that Comte cheese, mm, the yummy. French cheese, and then her baguette, and that goes with yours. How are the lentils doing? Are they too squishy? Mm, they're so yummy. Well, <laughs> you're trying to not get them in your bite. <laughs> It's weird, it's like a, I don't know, it's like a mini, I don't know. Game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, look, Auntie Jackie, it's a pretty sunset. Oh my gosh. That is gorgeous. I know, right? Holy cow. You guys see that? It's what? delicious. Wow. I mean, beautiful. It's like, <laughs> no wonder it's delicious, because you're eating my dinner. I couldn't handle the lentils. Uh, you baby. It was good, though. It was good, though. Mmm. So good. I think I like this. That's way. fine, I'll eat this. Me too. I'm out of here. Ooh, I got more bread too. This is even better. Best in the cover.